Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tara. Hope everybody's well. Okay, Pisces has been chosen as the next card. The next sign to be read for the August cycle. So, I had started, but then my phone just kept blowing up and I lost concentration. So we're going to start again, okay? Alright, this reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check the moon rising or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. And all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome at Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. While you're here, if you feel so inclined, if you like what you see, you can hit the like button. If you really like what you see and want to hear more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you, you are always notified when I upload. That would be pretty awesome. I would appreciate it, and it helps the channel out, helps it grow. And that would be super cool. All right, so two more shuffles for Pisces. Before I do the invocation and throw your cards out, Pisces, there's a couple quick things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on any tarot reading. I don't care if it's me, another reader here on YouTube, or some back room at a card shop somewhere. Your free will is your free will, and you need to exercise it wisely, period. Okay? Just saying. It's going to fuck your universe up if you make a wrong choice. You need to go inside. You need to figure that out for yourself. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, it is not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and is not resonating in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. You can take with you what does resonate and leave the rest, but don't force something to fit if it doesn't fit. Okay? Please. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Pisces, August 2021, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you, and I appreciate this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me clearly and accurately see and convey any messages that Pisces needs to bring them to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Pisces, why are you here? Three pentacles. Okay. Building foundations. Things are coming together. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. What happened? Eight of Swords. Sun reversed. It wasn't always that way, was it? <laughs> a little up in your head about something for a minute there. You weren't happy. You weren't happy. Could have been just general lack of happiness. Could have been a disconnect and a soulmate connection. I don't know. There's only three cards on the table. What's left of the here and now? Queen of Swords reversed. Okay. Typically that means a pissy attitude. What? So things are coming together, but you have a bad attitude about it? Bad attitude, lack of truth. Okay. Two cups reverse star. This tells me. Pisces, do you know what this tells me? In the end, everything's going to work out. Star card. You're in a moment. This tells me past, present, future. It might not work out the way you wanted it to work out or the way you want it to, 
but it's going to work out for your highest good. It's just what I'm seeing right now in the here and now. I can already sense this is going to be one of those. It's not what you want, but it's what you need. All right. Okay. Set that aside. Get the energy of the person you're dealing with, situation you're dealing with. Universe source spirit guides. Can I get the energy of the person or situation that Pisces is dealing with August 2021, August Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Queen of Pentacles reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. You know, if you doubt yourself, abundance doesn't come, right? You know that. It's all about what you manifest in your life. Self doubt. Serious buzzkill. Hmm. Really is. Self doubt's a dream crusher. Don't let that happen to yourself. All right. Libra. Justice reversed. Past. Emperor reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Present. Page of Cups reversed. future. Oh, upside down. Oh, upside down. Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah. Who are you dealing with? No. 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 It's not the goal. They're not in this. I'm not seeing it. You can't let this consume you, Pisces. You can't. You can't. You can't let this consume you. No. 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 Justice reversed to the Three of Pentacles reversed for the here and now. Even without clarifying it, which I will clarify everything. If, you know, first blush, I don't think they're in this. But we will clarify. There's something not balanced with them. Eight of Swords upright, Emperor reversed. Leave that be for a second. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. Yes. You're building an empire. You're laying foundations right now. You're calling in a queen. You're calling in a queen. You're laying foundations. Page of Wands, you're taking action. You're taking the, you're taking, you're taking steps. You're taking steps. 
passionate about something. You're taking steps. You're calling in the queen. You're calling in the queen. Why is it? Why is justice reversed here for the other person involved? For the here and now. Here and now. Why is justice reversed? Seven of wands. Something's not balanced. Internal struggles. One more. One more. Two of wands. There's something they're in the process of letting go of. They're in the process of letting go and moving forward. There's an internal struggle. There's something not quite balanced with them yet. Okay. Before we talk about the past, let's finish talking about the present. Pisces, back to you. Queen of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. What's with the bad attitude? Nine of Cups. One cup away. One cup away. One cup away. Nine of Wands reversed, but you're ready to throw in the towel on this. You got a bad attitude. You're one cup away. You're one cup away. They're not giving you the cup. They're not giving you the cup you want. That's why you have a bad attitude. That's why you got a bad attitude. They're not sure. They're not sure. There's still juggling going on. Two of Pentacles reversed. Emperor reversed. Justice reversed. They're not sure. Clarify this page of cups, please. Did one drop? Or did I grab it? Okay. Four of Swords. Laying something to rest. They're still processing something. They're still in rest mode. And when I look at this image, when I look at this image, three swords against the wall, one sword in her hand, she has four sticks in her other hand. She's got four sticks. She has the four sticks to build the foundation. She's not ready. He, she, insert whatever pronoun you want. I'm just going by the image on the card. She's not ready. She's got to rest. She's not ready yet. She's processing. Somebody's processing here. And I have a weird feeling if you don't give them the appropriate time to process whatever they need to process, they're going to take that sword and cut you out. So, Pisces. Pisces. You are the most emotionally evolved of the, of the water signs. I will give you that. You usually, you have a way of containing it, but I love Pisces to that. Really, my father was a Pisces. He was not the most patient man on the planet. He really wasn't. <laughs> he was a warrior. He would get all up in his head about shit. He would. He was a warrior. He didn't always show emotion. He didn't wear his heart out on his sleeve. But he internalized a lot of things. But when he wanted something, he wanted it now. You give this time. You've got to give this time. I'm not going to clarify that anymore. I'm going to leave that, leave that to rest. I'm going to leave that lay. Leave that lay. Let's talk about what happened. What got you? What got you all in your cage, Pisces? Why is the Eight of Swords here for the past? Why the Eight of Swords? Three of Wands, you didn't want to wait. You don't want to wait. You didn't want to wait. Why are they making me wait? Well, let's find out. Emperor reversed. The Emperor is all about, you know, being, you know, Lord of the Manor, King of the Castle, Emperor of the Empire, sending the troops into charge. Whoever you're dealing with is not all about sending the troops to charge right now. They're holding off. They're processing. Five of Cups, there's sadness. They're still getting over something. I don't know if it has something to do with you. Or something they got they gotta deal with inside, but they're processing. Why the sun reversed for you?
sun upright. You're not happy because you feel the connection with this person. One more. Nine of Pentacles. You have so much to give. One more. Oh, that might be too many. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Temperance, King of Swords, Knight of Wands. I'll take them. I'll take them. There's positive energy. There's balance. Honest conversations. I feel like you can be honest with this person. Logical, you're logicalizing it. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. You want to move forward. You want to move forward. You're ready. You're ready. They're not. You've thought this through. You're ready to go. They, they bring you peace. It's positive energy. They bring you a certain sense of calm in the chaos. I don't know how. You, you, you got an eight of swords. But you can't rely on somebody else for your calm, man. You can't. You have to find calm and calm within. That, that, that sends you down like a slippery, slippery slope to codependency. If you got to rely on somebody else for your happiness. Just saying. That's a slope. That's Snow Hill. That's Snow Hill straight into a tree. Uh, no. No. All right. Why is this two pentacles reversed here? Tower. Huh. They're avoiding a disaster. They are. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You need to give this person time. For whatever reason, I feel like I, I feel like if you push this person, they're gonna end it. They're going to they're gonna drop the tower unnecessarily and they're going to end it. You need to let this person process whatever the hell they need to process. Because they are still getting out of a tower moment. They're still closing something out. So if you want... If you want this person to be your, your queen of pentacles, king of pentacles... If you want this person to be your match... You need to let them process whatever the hell they got to process. If this is what you really want. If you want their cup and they're not giving it up, there's a reason they're not giving it up. And maybe they're not willing to give it to just anybody. Hmm. All right. Moving to the future. Let's move into the future. Why not? Why is two of cups here for Pisces? Two of cups reversed. Six of swords. This particular six of swords is in the boat alone with, with six swords. Crossing some not so glassy waters. Going down a river. Disconnect forward movement. All right. Throw one more on that, please. The Hermit and the Hanged Man. Introspection and acceptance of a situation moving forward and something didn't connect. Knight of Swords reversed for their side. Why the Knight of Swords reversed? 
Two of Cups. Upright. Two of Cups upright. Hmm. One more. The moon. Secrets, lies, deception. Or not knowing why. The unilluminated path. Light not being shined on it. Cut off in communication, new love for this person, not knowing why. Not knowing why. Or the secrets, lies, deception. I don't want to say that, you know, this person may have already been here. I don't, I don't want to say that. Throw one more on it. Five of Pentacles, ghosting. Hate to say this. Hate to say this. I don't want to be that reader. But here's your, here's your teaspoon of, of reality rather than a spoonful of sugar. When people ghost you, they got pushed away. I, I don't want to be that reader. I don't want to be that friend. I often find myself having to be that friend. Don't push. Don't push. You have to know when to hang back. If they've ever done drop the tower and close this out, that's why your star's here. One in the star, please. Queen of Cups. One more. Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands. You still hold a cup for this person. We do. But honest conversation time. Speaking truth, wanting truth. Maybe conversation's going to go down. Swords do indicate communication. I think the healing. I think the healing is going to take place. Might not be the healing you want, but I think you'll at least get an opportunity to get a few things off your chest after a lack of communication. Somebody possibly ghosting. You know, you go through tower moments to teach you something. That's what they're for. Finger God. Something got dropped for something to be different. Something different to be built in its place. That's why that thing. That's why that happens. You get an opportunity to get your stuff off your chest. You get an opportunity to speak peace. Tell someone how you feel to convey emotions. But that healing's got to take place first. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here? Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Justice, Upright. Lack of communication, lack of forward movement with the situation, but they're moving on. 
hopefully not into a cage of their own thoughts, but definitely doing some thinking. Allowing balance to come back into the situation. Sort of justice to be dropped. Mm. Nine of swords. Oh, wow. Okay. How ironic. How ironic. They need to do some serious thinking. Or the conversation that may be had if this all plays out the way the cards say it's going to play out, going to make them do some hardcore thinking. I don't know if they're going to be conveying justice or they're going to be served a fat dose of justice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. That being said, let's get your advice. Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Fool. When striking a new match and going off on a new path, you need to settle all of your internal conflicts first. You not settle internal conflicts before you go off on a new path. You take your old baggage with you. That is not fair to the other person. I think the person you were dealing with has some baggage they needed to settle. Just saying. Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. You need to heal. This feels like it was a little bit defeating. Probably a lot of bit defeating. You need to heal. You need to take your time and you need to be honest with yourself about what you want, Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles allow balance to return so you can strike the next match. Okay. Allow things to be illuminated in the situation and take the positive memories with you, not the negative ones, and don't stay all up all in your head about this. Because if you stay all up in your head about this, Page of Pentacles or King of Pentacles reversed. You forget what the goal was. You're in search of your queen. That's fine. You're in search of your queen. And when she's ready, you'll find her. But don't allow this to consume you because sometimes you need to wait. It's not time yet. Okay. Pisces. Wow. Woo! Another ass kicker. I gotta... I'm gonna close this out. Find out who I'm doing next. And I gotta do the bread and butter job in about three hours so I got a lot of work to do and very little time to do it so I'm gonna close out know that you're loved be blessed and I will catch you guys for your next reading next time and there's always a next time take care